the sky was black. An occasional gust of wind stirred the leaves and chilled the air. The stars shone like diamonds on black velvet. The sheep were ordinary. Some were fat, some were scrawny. The shepherds were ordinary people. They were peasants living out in the field, probably wearing the only clothes that they owned. Had it not been for the extraordinary God, who chose that night to turn up, to show up, the night would have remained ordinary. The sheep and the shepherds would not have gone down into history. The sheep would have just fallen asleep. The shepherds too would have eventually fall asleep. But no, God showed up. The extraordinary God, He showed up. He showed up, first of all, by sending an angel to herald His coming. That angel was joined by multitudes of other angels. The sky exploded with brightness. The trees danced in the wind. The sheep joined in a chorus of curiosity. The shepherds wiped their eyes and looked at each other and said, let us go and see this thing which has come to pass. You see, dear friend, the extraordinary God is interested in ordinary people. Persons like you and me, persons of no consequence, persons that are obscure and insignificant. Look who he turned to, to give this message. He didn't go to the theologians. They would have to check the commentaries. He didn't go to the religious leaders. The board would have had to decide whether he would come. They didn't go to the businessman because the businessman would have asked what is there in that for me. He chose lowly, ordinary, common folk, the shepherds. You see, that is how God is. He is interested in people. He is interested in all people, especially those who feel that they are not counted those who feel left out, those who feel that they are rejects, whether it is from society or whether it is from friends or whether it is in, on your job, you feel rejected. But the extraordinary God is interested in you. You see, the Bible says that He so loved this world that He gave His only begotten Son. And that night, that is what He did. He gave His only begotten Son. Hallelujah. And it says that whosoever believe on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Dear friends, God is interested in you. You might be someone that is obscure. Nobody knows your name. You are somewhere out there, out there, insignificant, of no consequence. You are making very little impact on the society, at least so you think. Friends may use you for their own purposes. I, am, I don't know, but at any rate, you feel that you are just ordinary. God is interested in you. As He turned up that day, and visited those shepherds who were watching their flocks that night. Hallelujah. I want to let you know, my dear friend, He is interested in you. He wants to turn up in your life. He wants to turn up. He wants to, 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 to manifest Himself in a real way. Emmanuel, God with us. Hallelujah. Would you allow Him to come? Would you allow Him right now, hallelujah, to 
enter into your life, to pull me in the atmosphere and enter into your situation, enter into your home, enter into your relationship, enter into your heart and into your mind and make you an extraordinary person so far as he is concerned. Let us pray. Almighty God, thank you. You, this great God, this God who laid the foundation of the earth. You chose to dwell among men. You condescended to men of low estate and you came and dwelt among us because you loved us and wanted to draw us close to you. I pray today for my friend, my brother, my sister, who might feel lonely, rejected, who might feel at this point in time that nobody cares. Cause them to know that right now, oh God, you want to come into their situation and they would allow you to come. They would allow you to enter and you would raise them up and change the situation, change the condition, change their own lives from ordinary to extraordinary. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.